parents, and welcome back to another school year. This is Mr. Rundo, and I will have your son or daughter in AP Biology. I'm super excited. I'm so happy to be back here in person to see students, and there's so many things I want to share with you. This is my 21st year teaching at Rexel Broadview Heights High School. Uh, it's my, I believe, 11th year of teaching AP Biology, and I can't imagine doing anything different. Uh, here's a picture of me in the upper left. Uh, that puppy with me was a recent acquisition. That will be a long story for your kids to hear in class. On the right, uh, those are my kids, that's Ella and LJ. Um, and when you have a biology uh, teacher or a dad and everyone's locked down for coronavirus, uh, he makes you plant tomatoes and sees if you could keep them alive and well throughout the entire process. And they've done very well. And the kids are enjoying eating them. On the bottom left, one of my favorite things to teach, a little DNA double helix. Uh, not pictured here is my wife, uh, and her name is Jessica, and I tell the students a lot of stories about her and her work in the medical field. <clears throat> I'm super excited about another year in AP Bio. Uh, we cover all the major topics, uh, as you see listed here, and then um, the AP content and College Board uh, require a very intense uh, hands-on lab experience to supplement all the curriculum, um, and um, we we uh, do our best to uh, give students novel experiences with high-end um, topics and with really advanced technologies. Uh, among other things, they'll do gel electrophoresis, polymerase chain reaction. We'll use a spectrophotometer, uh, do all kinds of genetics testing, and I even have plans this year. Uh, if we get to it, to use a DNA sequencer. Uh, on the left here is our Campbell Biology book. Students will be issued a hardbound book. They'll also have an online book. Um, it'd be great if you saw the hardbound text moving uh, around at home. That means it's getting some use. In terms of academics for them, uh, the AP curriculum is pretty intensive. Uh, students are well aware of what uh, they've signed up for because they have friends and they talk to them. And students, uh, just like your son or daughter, have been in here before and they've been super successful and did well on the AP exam. So uh, my expectations are no different for them. Uh, they'll uh, rise to the occasion and do well, uh, just like students in the past. In addition to their course textbook, which is the hard text and the online textbook, uh, I provide a variety of other ancillaries to um, generate student success. Those can be found uh, on the Google Classroom. It's really basically a one-stop shop. It includes what I and uh, what I hope to have are audio lectures to supplement, uh, especially for students that are at home, study guides uh, to reinforce topics. There's a Princeton review book that came with their fee schedule. You'll get that on the first day. Um, I will pull questions from the College Board to actually mimic the AP exam. And then there's some neat um, platforms out there like Edge Elastic, Edpuzzle, and Khan Academy that do a fine job of reinforcing the course content. So you may ask, with COVID, what could possibly be the plan associated with a, a hybrid setting where some students are there a few days and gone the other days and everything flips? Well. Our goal here at the high school, especially in science, is to maintain all the course rigor that uh, we would otherwise have, uh, whether students are in the classroom or outside the classroom. Our goal is to cover uh, the same types of things. Uh, it may be tough in terms of getting through things in the same uh, breadth and depth, but uh, that, is, um, that is our goal. So uh, my plan within the AP Bio is to cover uh, some new material on a daily basis, and then if students are here, I'll supplement with uh, hands-on lab experience. If students are at home after they hear the new things, uh, they could work on uh, some reinforcing formatives, uh, study guides, and that sort of thing. Again, the goal is, uh, though I don't teach to it, the goal is uh, a focus on the end of course exam, which in this case is the National AP Bio exam. I pride myself with students doing well in here, uh, always above. Uh, uh, three average, I believe last year was 3.3, and previous years, 
so um, out of all the classes, uh, I think uh, our current scenario uh, lends uh, the best to the experience they'll have here, meaning COVID is the problem and we will uh, study even it. Here you see a scanning electron microscope image of that uh, uh, very virus that's um, causing all the problems. Um, so we'll study that uh, in neat and different ways and review some of the literature associated with it. Uh, we'll also, I hope, get to a dissection. It won't be the fetal pig. They did that sophomore year, but in years past, we've done the rabbit in here. And on the bottom right here, you see some students uh, doing some um, real science, and that's what I'm looking forward to. One additional thing I forgot, um, the classroom is set up in such a way uh, that uh, students are surrounded by fish and a snake and uh, some other really neat critters. And I think uh, that really uh, lends well to the classroom setting uh, as a motivator for students to be here. And this particular tank uh, is my guppy tank and the students will uh, love watching uh, the older guppies grow up, have babies, and then the babies continue the cycle of life. Kind of a neat thing to watch. I will do my best and the entire school will to adhere, adhere to a safe work environment where education and safety will be a paramount focus. I'm looking forward to working with your sons and daughters uh, and I'm looking forward to them having a very successful year uh, even under the crazy times that we have. Welcome back to the high school. Have a great evening.